Political observers have said you need a scorecard to follow this race, but by the end of tonight, only one Democrat will be standing. Hi, Jake. How are you feeling? Jake Auchincloss greeted supporters in Foxborough this afternoon. So did Jesse Mermel and Alan Casey in other parts of the district. If you're having trouble keeping track of names, you're not alone. You have seven candidates now. There were nine. Two have dropped out in the last few weeks. Political yeah, analyst Marianne Marsh really says with so many Democrats running in the 4th District congressional race, the winning margin may surprise you. There's no question about the winner in this race will probably be at 25 percent or less. One thing all these candidates have in common, not meeting voters face to face during the last six months. With the lockdown, not being able to canvas voters door to door and really get a pulse for what's on people's minds. More common and normal to use smaller screens and technology to meet with people, work with people and campaign. But in politics, you get into it because you want to help people. You want to be with people. You want to make a difference. And I think the sooner everyone can get back to the retail politics of shaking hands, spending time, having coffee, seeing people's faces, the better it'll be. By the way, two Republicans are vying for their party's nomination, but it could be an uphill battle since no Republican has held this seat since 1947. Reporting live in Newton, I'm Ted Wayman, WCVB News Center 5. All right, Ted, thank you. As you just mentioned, two Republicans are also in the running in the 4th District. Here they are. Julie Hall, she served in the Air Force and was a city councilor in Attleboro. And David Rosa also served in the Air Force and the National Guard and is a Parks and Recreation Committee member in Dighton.